In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. Dear friends, during this Mass, we like to remember and pray for this following intentions. We remember Alferius Lalu and Brilli Sabet celebrate the first birthday. We remember these two and ask the Lord for the graces, blessings on them. We also remember and pray for the departed soul of Margaret Rabello Miranda Mukti. We also remember one of our staff, Sir Anjan, who lost his mother. And we pray for the bereaved family and remember his intentions. We also like to pray for our college. Today we have a governing body meeting. We surrender all our plans before the Lord. The 16th of this month, July, today is the feast of Mount Carmel, Our Lady of Mount Carmel. We know it is the mountain, the holy land where Elijah, the prophet, had the showdown with the prophets of Baal and experienced God, Yahweh as true God. And in 13th century, English monks came to stay there and Our Lady appeared to Simon Stock, St. Simon Stock, and gave the scapular that has become a popular devotion and the promise of wearing the scapular, the scapular medal, which is called the Miraculous Medal. I'm sure we have this devotion and the promise of her that being devoted to her, spiritually prepared, merciful in our heart, and wearing the medal and scapular and promise of graces and blessings. We pray that we may have a devotion to our Blessed Mother so that she leads us to Christ, her Son. Also, we remember today all the congregation of the Carmelites. We have Apostolic Carmel in our diocese and many other congregations that keep their feast and uh, the Carmelite family. Let's pray that they may bring God's kingdom and God's mercy to the people they serve. Let's ask pardon for all our sins that we worthily celebrate this Holy Eucharist. Trusting in his mercy, we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call us sinners, Christ have, mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us, Lord have, mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty Lord have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of the glorious Virgin Mary come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, so that fortified by her protection, we may reach the mountain which is Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, Moses and Aaron did many wonders before Pharaoh, and the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he did not let the people of Israel go out of his land. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall be for you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year for you. Tell all the congregation of Israel that on the tenth day of this month, every man shall take a lamp according to their father's houses, a lamp for a household. And if the household is too small for a lamp, then he and his nearest neighbor shall take according to the number of persons, according to what each can eat. You shall make your count for the lamp. 
Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male, a year old. You may take it from the sheep or from the goats, and you shall keep it until the fourteenth day of this month. When the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill their lambs at twilight, then they shall take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and the lintel of the houses in which they eat it. They shall eat the flesh that night, roasted on the fire, with unleavened bread and bitter herbs they shall eat it. Do not eat any of it raw or boiled in water, but roasted, its head with its legs and its inner parts. And you shall let none of it remain until the morning. Anything that remains until the morning you shall burn. In this manner you shall eat it. With your belt fastened, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand. And you shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt that night, and I will strike all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both men and beast. And on all the gods of Egypt I will execute judgments. I am the Lord. The blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and no plague will befall you to destroy you. When I strike the land of Egypt, this day shall be for you a memorial day, and you shall keep it as a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. As a statute forever, you shall keep it as a feast. The Word of the Lord. Amen. Praise be to God. <clears throat> Response. The cup of salvation I will raise, I will call on the name of the Lord. The cup of salvation I will raise, I will call on the name of the Lord. How can I repay the Lord for all his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise, I will call on the name of the Lord. The cup of salvation I will raise, I will call on the name of the Lord. How precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant am I, the son of your handmaid. You have loosened my bonds. The cup of salvation I will raise, I will call the name of the Lord. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make, I will call on the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. The cup of salvation I will raise, I will call the name of the Lord. Gospel Acclamation My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord, and I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Chapter 12, 1 to 8. Jesus took a walk on Sabbath day through the cornfields. His disciples were hungry and began to pick ears of corn and eat them. The Pharisees noticed it and said to him, Look, your disciples are doing something that is forbidden on the Sabbath. But Jesus said to them, Have you not read what David did when he and his followers were hungry? how he went into the house of God, and how they ate the loaves of offering, which neither he nor his followers were allowed to eat, but which were for the priests alone? Or again, have we not read in the law that on the Sabbath day, the temple priests break the Sabbath without being blamed for it? Now, here I tell you, is something greater than the temple. And if you had understood the meaning of the words, what I want is mercy, not sacrifice, you would not have condemned the blameless. For the Son of Man is master of the Sabbath. 
the Gospel of the Lord. These days we were reflecting from the first reading, the book of Exodus. We have a wonderful reading today. Today is the first Passover that the Israelites celebrate. Of course, projected to the New Testament, it's the same Passover, the Eucharist, that Jesus will celebrate here, slavery to freedom, there from sin to life. And the two are connected and everything has got significance. Someone told me the other day, you are talking too much on the first reading, so today we shall go to the, the gospel more. The gospel of today, nice to know the context. Jesus and his disciples, it's a Sabbath day, they are walking through the cornfields and they pluck the grains and eat. And Sabbath day, if you look through, you will find the Jewish rules of Sabbath. There are many. They are not supposed to walk. Even if they walk, you know, there are many. It is said that around 1,000 implications or rules were modified from the law of Sabbath, what can be done, how much can be done, carrying something, etc. We have seen in the Gospel all this. So it is in this context. So the disciples were hungry, as it says, and they pluck the grains and eat. So plucking the grain was not a crime because book of Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 26 says, when you walk through your neighbor's field, corn field, you may pluck the grains, not with sickle, you may pluck and eat. So plucking is okay. Or verse 25 is about the neighbor's vineyard. You may pluck and eat, not carry away. So that was allowed. So the breaking was not stealing someone else's property or eating someone else's grains. But the problem is the day of Sabbath. Why? Plucking grains, you have to rub it, you have to blow it, then you have to eat. So these four activities together is work. Plucking is harvesting. It was not allowed on a day of Sabbath. Rubbing is crushing. Again, it's work. It is not allowed on a Sabbath. And blowing is winnowing, not allowed on a Sabbath. And of course, eating was allowed. In fact, on Sabbath day, they cook early. And all this together, the Jews accuse the disciples. And it's interesting when you read through the Gospels, when his disciples are accused in public, somehow Jesus always defends them be it here or be it in the case of washing the feet before taking meal. And the Lord will always, before people, defend his disciples. But in private, you will find Jesus scolding them. I think that is a good message to all of us. Let's come to the, what is the defense that the Lord gives? The defense, Jesus gives three defense or three reasons to defend. First is the story of David. We know when David was fleeing from King Saul, fearing his death, they were hungry, he and his servants, and how he enters the temple and asks the priest there, we are hungry, and the offering that is put in the temple is only for the priest, only he can eat, and how David receives it and he eats. So Jesus quotes from his own, and David is never blamed in anywhere for having committed this. And this is one reason presented. Second, on Sabbath day, no work were allowed, but sacrifice, preparing the, the offering, the priest would do. And that is also work. So he quotes the second against this. And third is the, the most important line that will follow in the coming chapters too. There is something greater than Sabbath here. No, Sabbath temple and here is something greater than the temple we will find in the coming reading something greater than Jonah something greater than Solomon so this reading the Lord identifying himself and here is a proof for those of us who say Jesus was only a prophet no something greater and he affirms and that there is also another interpretation that comes if priests were allowed to eat and here is a high priest Jesus who prepares and who is greater than Sabbath and here are the priests around 
future priests, his disciples, and who are eating on a Sabbath. So that is another great interpretation where Jesus acknowledges them as priests. Let's come to the end of the story. And Jesus says, quoting Hosea 6.6, 6, What I want is mercy, not sacrifice. This is not defending the other, but mercy in sacrifice. We can take this line to many things. The Pharisees were more worried about what should not be done than what should be done. Acts of mercy were always omitted, but acts of commission means whatever not allowed done were always observed. I think sometimes we also become that way as we reflected the other way when we become only a moral Christian, a moral believer, it is focus is more ways not on the self, not on myself, but on others, how much they do, how much they don't do. But that is when we, re we, we only become observers of laws. Observers looking at others, are they coming up to the observance of the law? Jesus is asking us something deeper to have mercy. When mercy is within, that is when I turn towards myself in observing what God asks of me and I'm compassionate towards the others who break or who do not observe. I'm sure when we look deep, we all realize we are far from it. Let's ask the merciful Lord that he may give us grace, he may give us strength. The Eucharist that we are going to celebrate is this gift and food of mercy that the Lord is giving us. The eternal sacrifice, the Passover meal from slavery to sin, slavery to grace, and from sin to light. Let's ask the Lord for this grace as we take a part of this sacrifice. That the Lord may give us this freedom to move from sin to grace and from slavery to freedom. May the Lord strengthen us. Let us pray, my dear friends, that this sacrifice of mine and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you the sacrifice, O Lord, as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your Son. Then we pray that through this most holy exchange, we may advance towards the eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is truly right and just a duty and a salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of our Blessed Mother, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. You have given us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your greatness and rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he to the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our poor Victor, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Margaret Rebello, Miranda Mukti, we remember Sir Ranjan's mother, and all our near and dear ones departed, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us, so we pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, the Apostles, the Saints, St. Anthony, St. John Bosco, and all who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quiet to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray for the coming of God's kingdom in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. As but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from all sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, Holy One, reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other God's peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away all our sins. Blessed are we who are called to receive him. As we receive the Lord spiritually sacramentally into us, let's ask the Lord to fill us with his mercy. May the Lord heal all that is sinful in us, and may he give us grace and make us whole again.
Prayer for Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable at this moment to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. What is past her lips has food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart, that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for all eternity. Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under the sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in our deeds. We, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
Blessed and praised be every moment. In the most holy and divine sacrament. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now, and ever shall be, the world of God. Amen. We turn to the Lord with all our prayers and intentions. Let's ask the Lord to fill us with His mercy. We remember Alpharius, Lalu, Brilli, Sabet, who celebrate their birthday, Brilli, whose first birthday. We surrender all their intentions, ask for God's grace, blessings on them always. We remember and pray for the departed souls of Margaret Rebello, Miranda Mukti. We remember Sir Ranjan's mother departed yesterday. We also pray for his family and all his near and dear ones. We remember the intentions of our college and all our prayers, intentions, people that we have. We surrender them before the Lord. We ask the Lord to fill us with his love with his mercy and that we may walk always in his grace and strength. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And Hail Mary, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Father, I, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Have mercy on us and 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 the whole world. I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Have mercy on us and 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 the whole world. I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Have mercy on us and 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 the whole world. 
Have mercy on us and the whole world. Have mercy on us and the whole world. Have mercy on us and the whole world. Have mercy on us and the whole world. Have mercy on us and the whole world. I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and to one man for our sins and those of the whole world. Have mercy on us and 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 the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity, your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to men for our sins and those of the whole world. Have mercy on us and 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 the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. O Blessed and praised be every moment. Blessed and praised be every moment. Blessed and praised be every moment. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. We turn to the Lord with all our prayers, intentions, and people we prayed for. Most merciful and trying God. To you in our weakness, we come to you in our fear, we come to you with trust, for you alone are our hope. We place before you the disease present in our world, we turn to you in our time of need. Bring wisdom to doctors, give understanding to scientists, and talk caregivers with compassion and generosity. Bring healing to those who are ill, protect those who are most at risk, give comfort to those who have lost a loved one. Welcome those who have died into your eternal home. Stabilize our communities. Unite us in our compassion. Remove all fear from our hearts. Fill us with confidence in your care. 
Jesus, 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 Amen. Pray to the Holy Family, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, in you we contemplate the splendor of true love. To you we turn with trust, Holy Family of Nazareth, and that our families too may be places of communion, prayer and the authentic exclusive gospel, and for all the mystic churches. Holy Family of Nazareth, may our families never again experience violence, rejection and division. May all who have been hurt find any comfort and healing. Holy Family of Nazareth, make us aware of the sacredness of the family and his beauty in God's Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Master Center, let's go in God's peace. Father and the Son.